Did you know that cut produce from the grocery store can be treated with antimicrobial pesticides? Ecolab produces antimicrobial fruit and vegetable treatment, which is used in produce treatment sinks at grocery stores. Antimicrobial fruit and vegetable treatment contains 1.23% sodium dodecyl benzene sulfonic acid, 17% lactic acid, and 81% other ingredients. The antimicrobial pesticide is used to kill pathogens such as E. coli and salmonella, as well as remove residues or waxes, improve crisp texture, and extend the shelf life. The pesticide use does not have to be disclosed on the packaging of fruits, vegetables, and herbs that it's used on. Ecolab introduced the pesticide to the market as generally recognized as safe, so the FDA did not conduct its own pre-market safety review testing. Additionally, Ecolab got FDA clearance for no rinse application, so the pesticide does not have to be rinsed off of produce before it is packaged. The treatment on the product would contain a 76 to 111 parts per million of SDBS. A no adverse effect level for chronic dietary intake has been set at 50 milligrams per kilogram per day based on studies in rodents and dogs. Some studies have found SDBS was no more effective than water at removing E. coli on produce like romaine lettuce, raising questions as to why it's even used. The National Organic Standards Board voted 13 to 0 to deny SDBS approval for use in organic produce. Ecolab has also come under recent criticism for the antimicrobial pesticide Produce Max, which is used in produce misters and sold from their subsidiary. I share this to inform you about what's going on in our food systems and not to stress you out or tell you to avoid grocery stores. If you want to find local farms, ranches, and markets, I've mapped over 5,000 on my free farm map. And if you want to grow your own food, I carry 120 heirloom varieties of fruits, herbs, vegetables, and wildflowers on my website, my myhealthforward.com, which I've linked in my bio.